So I'm in the development area of EEC. Usually you could drive this via a web page, uh, an XML file or anything like that, but I'm just gonna alter some of these values uh, manually. So right now I'm using the default settings here. So my default is 100 amp rating for this cabinet. And then a uh, voltage indication is, uh, is true in this case. You'll see it's uh, three LED lamps. And then I've also selected uh, the power supply size that I want to use. So I'm gonna use a 24 amp, uh, I mean a 20 amp, 24 volt power supply. So to generate this project, uh, I'm gonna do it manually, but this could be run on a job server automatically uh, at a click of a single button or anything like that. But again, I'm in the development and, uh, environment and this is just a quick project I, I threw together. So I'm gonna right click and then go to this generate structure and open. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna think and, and kind of crunch uh, everything together and uh, create a project for me. So we're just gonna wait a minute for it to do it. Uh, again, uh, you'd probably run this on a, on a server computer, which is much faster than the machine I'm working on right now. So it wouldn't take quite as long and it would be an automated process. So it's gonna open up ePlan again. You can push it straight to a PDF or um, straight to the project file uh, that you need. So once it's opened, um, I'm gonna just open the, I'm gonna bring this dialog across here and just stick it here. This is my navigation plane. And let's just resize it real quick. So it's created my project and I just give it the standard name. Uh, you can see the pages. So I've got some uh, title plate, uh, a drawing list. So these are all the pages in my project. I've also got a quick parts list as well, automatically generated. I don't need to worry about this. And then I've got my schematic diagrams, which are is what I'm generating automatically. So I've got the incoming power. So notice I uh, selected 100 amp. So I've got the 100 amp in here and the part number has uh, selected 100 amp for me. And then also notice the conductors are 25 uh, millimeters. I'm using a metric system here. And then also I've got these distribution blocks. So these are the individual distribution blocks of 25 gauge. And then uh, I put in a 20 amp, 24 volt power supply. So I need six gauge for, for that. So if you look at that, that's here. And I've only done the, the, the income of this. So uh, you can see I'm using 16 amp and then a 20 amp power supply here. And then it's also sized this to be 20 amp. Uh, so let's have a look at the 3D side of it because this is also really interesting. So here's the cabinet and I can actually tell it to route. So first I'm gonna route everything out the ducts and stick everything into the, the wiring ducts. So let's just do that. And then we can actually have a look at the gauges of the wire here. So if I just uh, go on here and just do show only the mounting panel, you can see that this is the uh, 100 amp uh, version here. And I've got my distribution blocks, that large gauge uh, wire. And then you can see everything is wired and routed. Again, I'm just showing this for example. Uh, here's that 20 amp uh, power supply. Uh, and then here's a, a grid to put here. So I'm going to close this project. I'm going to make a different configuration and reload it. You can watch the changes. So if I just uh, close this and jump back in here and I want to select this one to be say 32 amp, I can enter on that one. I don't want my voltage indication. So I'm gonna say false there and then let's use a three amp 24 volt power supply. I just hit save and then I do the same steps again. So I'm regenerating a new configuration here. So let's just give it a minute to uh, to crunch that configuration together. And then once we're opened, we'll have a look at the, the pages. So the main one we're gonna be interested in is the Incomer page, so 32 amp, and you can have a look. The part number has changed for this one. And then I've also changed the gauge here, so we're using four, four millimeters here. And then you can see that I don't have the uh, three LEDs here for the indication. So my distribution blocks don't actually have, um, my distribution blocks have also been resized, so I'm using uh, four gauge here, 2.5. I've actually switched the part number of these distribution blocks on the older ones that were smaller. You can go and have a look at that in the layout space. So let's jump over here, see what it looks like. Again, I'm basing it the same uh, style. So 
here you can see that I'm still using the same uh, frame size breaker, but this is a, a 32 amp. Uh, these are slightly different, uh, slightly smaller distribution blocks, so I don't need the big ones. And you can see that the power supply is actually changed out as well. Uh, and notice the, the breakers are actually pushed up against it. So it does, um, you can actually position these exactly how you want them. If you want it butted up or a, a 20 mil gap or, you know, three inch gap or whatever you need, you can do all that. Um, what you can't see is that uh, this configuration is actually placing uh, the ducts, the dins, all the components. It's not just replacing them, it's actually putting them in there as well. Um, so you can, you can play with this as much as you want and get it real fancy. Uh, this is just a simple, uh, simple example I can uh, demonstrate real quick. All right, thank you for that.